Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to add jQuery UI tooltip in ASP.NET controls. And I must hover, see, enter password. Uh, right now, I am in the source code of the web form 1.aspx page. Now, in this ASPX page contains two text box controls. I want to add tooltip to this text box control. By default, ASP.NET have a property which is tooltip. Enter username. Let's copy this one and paste in the text box password. And I'm changing the tooltip username to password. Now, before adding the jQuery script to this page, let's check the output how it looks the designing path of the browser. Google Chrome. And here we got the output of that code which contains a username and password. When I mouse hover on the text box control, notice it's displaying that default tooltip control. Now I will show you how to add the jQuery UI tooltip to these controls. Let's quickly switch back to the ASP.NET source code and stop debugging. When we want to write the jQuery script, first thing we need the jQuery CDN links. To get the latest CDN links, go to Google. In the Google, type jQuery latest CDN Google. And notice the fourth option, hosted libraries. Click that one. In the Google hosted libraries, notice here the contents option there. Click jQuery. In jQuery, I'm selecting the latest snippet, which is 3.3.1 version. And I'm adding between the header section. After that, Visit the jQuery UI. Query UI. Notice we have two snippets. One for the style sheet and second one for the ui.min.js. We need both of these links. Copy these both CDN links and paste here. After that, we can able to access the jQuery classes in this SPX page. I'm adding script tag dollar I'm creating function I'm closing this function dollar I'm adding document dot tooltip I'm closing this tooltip now in this tooltip I want to add some animation show the tooltip effect between double quotes the effect i'm giving the slide down slide d is capital slide down and the delay which i'm giving 250 that's it we have done the coding part let's check the results on the browser the jquery tooltip is working or not Google Chrome and here we got the output after adding that jQuery UI tooltip when I mouse hover see enter username enter password now the next thing I want to change the theme of this tooltip control for that open ASP.NET theme and click the second link jQuery UI 1.8.5 The themes here we got the CDN themes come to the bottom for this demo purpose I'm using swanky pass let's copy this swanky pass and paste here notice the version is 1.8.5 here but we are using 1.12.1 
just copy the swanky pass theme delete the smoothness theme and paste that swanky pass now i don't require this link let's check again the output on the google chrome and i mouse hover see enter password that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos